I'm back. Today we're going to do some functional strength exercises. We're going to do it in half an hour. We're going to work the whole body in half an hour. So we're going to do exercises that recruit lots of different muscles in one move. Saves us time, burns a heck of a lot of calories as well. It's all marvellous. Now what we're going to need is um, a couple of dumbbells, kettlebell maybe, plate instead. Now if you don't have any of these things, look around your house, find something you can use as dumbbells, one in each hand. Um, kettlebell, it's not essential, so you can pick up something heavy, you can pick up a tin of paint. I would advise against swinging a tin of paint. Don't swing anything with a handle just because it has a handle. Don't do that. <laughs> um, there are alternatives, so don't worry if you don't quite have the right thing handy. So selection of, of weights, but we're more or less going to stay about the same weight anyway. Right, let's get nice and warm. We're going to pick up two of something, whatever you've got, even if it's tins. I'm going to start with this one. Something light-ish, one in each hand. Let's get nice and warm. So, straight leg deadlift. Nice soft knees, hinge from your hip, come down, come up. Now you can go at your own rhythm. We're going to do that interval training um, workout that we've been doing for the past couple of sessions. I'm going to go with 25 seconds today. So if you think we're doing four rounds, 25 seconds, what kind of weight do you think you could use? Of course you can go slow and do fewer reps, make your weights quite heavy. If you go a little bit quicker, do more reps, make your weights a little bit lighter. So you choose where you want to go. So from these deadlifts, let's take a couple of rows. So we're going to go in, down and up. So we're going to squeeze those elbows back, warming up through your lats and the back of your shoulders. Open your heart knots, big old pinch between your shoulder blades. So again, it's just a warm up, really light. You don't have to use much weight at all. It's more a mobilization exercise, really, this. Just going through the motions, starting to bring a bit of warmth into your body as well. Let's take some upright rows. So leave with your elbows. You can come high or you can stay low. Important with upright rows to slide your shoulders back. So make sure they don't come forward. So we've got a nice long spine. Leaning with elbows, plates, whatever you've got, stay close to your body. Fabulous. A few more. And then we're going to bring them up and under. We go like this, we go like this. And we're just going to push them to the sky. Give you one arm, two arms, whatever you fancy. If you feel like you're leaning back, you can split your stance. Brace those abs lots. Think really, really tall. Let's get nice and warm through your upper body. More. If your weights are really, really, really light, you can go a bit quicker than me. But remember, it is only the warm up. This is not supposed to hurt. We're supposed to be able to do this all day. That's it, just relax those shoulders, try not to hunch them towards your ears. A couple more. So let's come to a few squats now. If you're with me, you can stack your plates, you can hold them like this, they're not very heavy. Bring your feet a bit wide in your hips, let's drop your hips back and let's rise. So just warm up. Now, if you're nowhere near warm, why don't you stay top half? Half squats, hips back, knees forwards, chest up. Lovely. So let's keep it in the lower body. Let's do a couple of lunges. Arms by side, whatever you've got in your hands. Really long stride, back heel off the floor, straight down and up, two 90 degree bends in the legs. So feet back, hip distance, step back, down and up. Side. Doesn't have to be the same amount on each side, it really doesn't. It's not going to make any difference. <laughs> Just once. Pushing through that front heel, back heel off the floor, hips square to the wall you're looking at, crumb of head straight up to sky, straight down and up. Beautiful. Right, and hold it here. Let's do a few more deadlifts. So nice straight legs, hinge from your hips, just soft knees though. So we keep that long spine, that little squeeze between your shoulder blades to open your heart lots. Almost warm. Yeah. And then let's squeeze with a pull. So we go down with the deadlift, squeeze, and come back up again. Yes. Couple more. Up, right, 
Boom. Ow. That's it. Slide those shoulders away from your ears. Hold it here. Get under. And let's press all the way up to the sky. Again, just put your stance if you need it. And then we're going to take these plates and take a couple of front of squats here, here, whatever feels good to you. Feet a bit wider than hips, turn out your knees and your toes, pop your hips back, squeeze your bottom as you rise, and maybe in round two, you can get a little bit lower. Let's lunge. One leg back, long stride, slide those shoulders back, back knee straight towards the floor. Just a couple more, we're almost there. Let's step in and switch, long stride, feet hip distance, straight down and up. Looking good. I reckon we're almost warm there. Now stop. Right then, let's put these down. Let's move on to the good stuff. Okay, okay. 25 seconds in this one. Again, 10 seconds recovery. If your weights are really low, you may want to do more than um, 25 seconds, or you may want to go a bit quicker so you can squeeze more reps in. You choose where you want to go. We're starting um, with a push exercise. I'm trying to alternate between pushes and pulls. So we're going to go with a push exercise and it's a chest press. So we're going to need two dumbbells or whatever you've got, one in each hand. We're going to lie down and press to the sky. So you've got a barbell, you can use a barbell, that's awesome. Um, chest, heavy-ish, if you've got it, heavy-ish. You can use a step and line of step. I'm going to lie on the floor. So, ready to go? Pick up your hand weights. We have 25 seconds. Take aim and fire, lie back. So if you're with me on the floor, do make sure wherever you are, you keep that lower back in towards the floor. Now the arms come out and in. Let's take the knuckles towards the head. Open and close. Shoulder blades into the floor. Squeeze your elbows together as you rise. So we're working your chest shoulders, your triceps, brace those abs lots, push that lower back in towards the floor, a couple more, where are we at, we've got a couple more seconds left, we open and close, two, one, and stop, beautiful, right, let's move on, 10 seconds to recover, next one, we need a big kettlebell, let's take a sumo squat, sink low, and come up with a high pull. Down and up. Down and up. Elbows lead the way. Drop your hips back. Drive through your heels. Bring your elbows up really high. So we're driving through your heels. We're using all that power in the back of your body to explode and draw that kettlebell skyward. Two, one, stop. That's a good one. That works. The old ticker, that one. Quite explosive, quite powerful. Right. Let's move on to chest. Ready to go? Three, two, one, go. Now if you struggle to get down and up with these weights, by all means, if someone's around, you could lie down and get them to pass them to you. Or just take something nice and light and go a bit quicker than me. So just choose a pace that works for you. Two, one. Right, let's go with that pulling move. So, working lots of muscles. Down and up. Down and up. How deep can you go? Try through heels, give it some explosive power. This is where you can go quite heavy, these ones. 
five in. Three, two, and one. Yes. Can you feel that one? Can you feel that one? Hit your heart with your lungs. Right, back three. We're nearly there. Two, one. Let's do it. Lie down. Open and close. So knuckles towards head in. Your weights are in line with your chest. Now, if you are on a bench, do make sure your elbows don't go too low beyond your bench. If it's on the floor, it keeps a nice safe range, actually. Elbows to floor. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Yes. Good job. All right. Let's do some high pulls from a squat. So you've got to brace these abs lots. Keep that great posture. Go. Drive it. Pull through heels. Lift those elbows high. Wash your chin. <laughs> protect the face. Always protect the face. Seven. That's it, go on. Give me a bit more depth and a bit more explosive power through the back of your body. And drive through those heels. Stop. Right. One more. Yeah, one more. Three. Two. One, 25 seconds. Open and close. It's like you're trying to squeeze those elbows together on the way up. It's like you're trying to drive those shoulder blades into the floor on the way down. As slow or as quick as you need. You can always pulse them to make them harder. If your weights are quite light. There's always a way of making it harder if you've got light weights. Two, one, yes. Right, that's that high pulse. Feeling good? Yes. Okay. Ready? Steady. Go. Let's sit really low. Can you get your kettlebells to touch the floor without leaning forward like this? Always roll back your shoulders. Switch on those postural muscles in your upper back. That's what you're working. Four. Three. Two. One. Hey. Round one done. Easy peasy. Okay. Next up. So we've got some front over squats next. So we're going to take a big plate or, again, you could use a tin of paint. They're good. You're just holding it. That's all you're doing. Right. Let's do some squats. Two. One. Go. Right. We're going to squat and we're going to add a heel lift. The heel lift actually recruits more muscle fibers at the front of your legs. As you do the flexion through your hips, that's all very technical. But if you can, hop onto your toes. If you feel a bit unstable, don't do it. Just stay in the squat. Two, one. Yes, yeah, strong quads. Also hold your legs, hand your glutes. Right, next one, rows, dumbbells. You might find you're a bit lower than the ones you used for the chest, maybe not. Tip forward, go. So, tipping forward, strong long spine, none of this. Elbows, close to ribs, sweat your lats. Squeeze into your back. So you can go quick, you can go slow. Actually, I probably need to go a bit heavier than this next time. It's a learning curve, right? Four, three, two, stop. Nice job. Right, plate. Let's do some squats. Two, one, go. Drop, drive, drop, drive. Lift your heels. Squeeze your bottom to stabilize your spine. So you've got to keep squeezing your bum, especially at the top. Big squeeze right there. Drop in as deep as you know. And stop. Are you with me? Let's give it that one. So we've got a big one for your heart and your lungs again. So this one's going to take your heart rate down. Ready? Go. So the great thing about these exercises, alternating between a push and a pull. The push works triceps. It's not a prime mover, but it works triceps. And the pull, like this one, Again, not a prime mover, but it works your triceps. 
So you don't need to spend time isolating your biceps if you don't have time. You do things like this, which work a whole bunch of muscles. Stop. That's good. All right. Six seconds. Big weight. Three seconds. Two. One, let's do it. Foot back. Heels off. How low can you go? And how high can you go? Bit of a balance challenge in there as well. Quads of steel. Let's do it. Seven. Oh, go on. Brace those abs lots. Sink as deep as you can. Two. One. Stop. So you've still got those heel lifts, right? Maybe, maybe not. Depends how you feel. If you feel like you're going to fall over, don't do it. Right. Rows. Two. One. Go. Elbows in. Yeah, I'm using the same weight as I did for the chest, actually. It's a target to you. You may find you need to go a bit lower than your chest. Or, you've only got one weight, maybe you want to do these a little bit slower than you did the chest. Fewer reps to even it up a bit. Stop. Right. <clears throat> Let's do it. Big play. Two, one. So I've kept this simple structure because it's so basic, you can do it yourself. You can literally write these exercises, eight, eight, eight exercises, that's it. Write them down and then do them yourself. And if you feel like you've got light weights and you want to go for 35 seconds, you do it for 35 seconds. So simple. You can all do it. You don't require much thought at all. Four. It's just making sure that you balance those muscle groups. Two. One. Right. This row. Four. Three. Two. One. So, as you know, it's your last one. It's round two done. Squeeze between your shoulder blades. Let's drive those elbows back. So you've got to have a strong core. We're working your core. Nice soft knees. Ten seconds. Shoot. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. Done. Awesome. Look at you, but I've got sweat on. <laughs> Sweaty moustache. Woohoo! Yes, you know you're working hard. Right then, what's up next? So, you push the squat press. Pull, reverse flies. Reverse flies will require a light awake. Definitely. If you had big ones there. Right. So, big weight, squat press. Similar to what we did, but we're keeping our heels down and we're punching the sky. Ready? Steady. Go. Right, this is going to fire up. It'll take a lot. Drop, drive, drop. So keep your heels down in this one. Drive through your heels. Squeeze your bones. Now, you're using all those muscles. Big posterior chain, your powerhouse. You're using all those muscles down your back, you're using your muscles in your leg. So this one's quite explosive. It enables you to pick up some big colossal weights. So pick up your big, great big vat of paint for this one. Stop. <laughs> Reverse flies. Tipping forward. This time, we do this. All right, so we're going to tip forward, just like we did on the rows. Soft knees, hips back. Now your arms are straight, but your elbows are soft. It's an open and close, and we're squeezing into the upper back. So again, we're working on those postural muscles. Great help for posture, these. Seven. So, try and control it. It's dead easy to fling it and swing it. Control. Two. One. Stop. They're good. They're two really good ones. So let's fire up your heart and your lungs. Big athletic move, this one. Two, one. Let's go. How high can you go? How low can you sink? And how hard can you drive? Ten. Nice is doing the trick. Working. 
four. Yeah. Two. One. Oh, they're good. I like those. All right. Seven seconds. Two some squats. Drop those hips back. Two. One. Let's do it. Should be able to do quite heavy for this one. Eight. Yeah. Don't give me four. Two. One. Whew. Right. Nice. Five. Oh, I did meant to say. <laughs> I meant to say at the beginning. Two. One. Don't do this without trainers on. <laughs> Make sure you've got footwear. You do not want to break your toes. Please put footwear on. But as I said in the last video, I got white carpets. Insane. <laughs> Seven. Four. Two. One. One more of each. Yeah? Here yeah, you with me. Three seconds. Two. Are oh, we having fun? One. Because we are. Up. Drive it. So bearing in mind, this is your last set. How much power can you give me? I've got to get a bit of speed. If you can slow down, drive it. A little bit harder. Drive through those heels. Squeeze your buttons as you drive that plate all the way up towards the sky. Five. Got it. I've got two seconds. Go for it. One more. Yeah, one more. Right. Let's set for nice. Three seconds, two, and one, open, close. So how does it feel? If there's too much pain, if you've got like a, a sharp pain anywhere, and you need to go a little bit lower, that's fine. Just remember, it's a weight that you can still control. There's no momentum. It's all about you. You're in control of these dumbbells. They're not in control of you. So, one more, and it's done. See how quick this goes. I love this kind of training. It's just light and fast. It's like you've not done it. It's awesome. Right, next up, let's do some swings. Now, you'll require a kettlebell sort of, or a plate, something you can swing. I wouldn't use a tin of paint because the handle might come off. Please don't do that. <laughs> Unless you've got a bit of space and you can fling paint around. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> right, I'm going to swing a kettlebell. Option, you don't want the swings if you can't do the swings. Working the same muscles here. Bridge. You know what bridge looks like. Pushing through your heels, high on the top of your shoulder, squeeze your bum. You can always lift the leg to make it harder. Kettlebells. I haven't quite got heavy enough kettlebells, so I'll put two together, but one's safer. Alright, let's do it. 25. So this move here is actually a push. Because the work is in your back and your bum and your hamstrings, not your arms. So your arms are just going with what your back's doing, your bum's doing. So, four seconds, squeeze your bums, hips back, soft knees. Use the power of the back to drive it. Two, one, stop. Right, come on the floor, let's do some abs. And let's pull, <laughs> let's rope pull. Right, under this one. <laughs> Imagine the rope coming out the ceiling and it's never ending. You're using it to pull yourself up. But it's coming down. Let's work those mid abdominals. Can you reach a bit high so you're in centre? Centre each time. Go a bit higher. Maybe all the way up. Like that. Three, two, one. Fab. Well, that's going to bring your heart rate down a little bit. Because the swings will fire it up. Right. Two, one. Go. Buns get stronger with every swing. Oh, buns are crap warmers. Hell yes, please. Five seconds. Three, two. Let's lie down. That's good. Four seconds. Three, 
back and work the front of our body. Two, one. Remember, you can take bridges if you haven't got anything to swing. But you can swing a plate. You can swing a dumbbell. You can hold on to a dumbbell. You can swing it like that. Hold on to a dumbbell. Four. Go reach a bit higher. Two. Yes. We're on fire. We are on fire. Pick up. Four seconds. Two. And one. Now I reckon this should be our last round, right? So give it a big burst of power. Shoot. Sound effects are optional. Shoot. Triceps, you may not have isolated them, but you've worked them in some of the other exercises we've done. So it's a whole body thing, and you've done it in 30 minutes. Nice job. Should we chill? Let's chill. All right, take this one. Put your hips back. I'm going to do this box standard stretch that we always do. It's not very exciting, but it does a trick. About 10 seconds. Stay right there. Change the music. As again, I'm sorry I have to play this music, license free music, for social media. Right, let's do this. What we got? What's this one? Bring that heel into your bum. Draw your hips forward. Knees close together. You've done it. Half an hour and it's done. It's over. You're finished. You can move on. You can do all the fun stuff. So I'll take your leg back. We'll do some more exciting stretches next time. This does a trick. Hips. Heel off. Bend. Oh, that's not very calm, is it? And then this one. Triceps. Muscles. 